good morning students today we will continue with icsc class 10 mathematics ratio and proportion chapter so last session we learnt about the ratio and its uh, related problems today we are going to discuss about the proportion about the proportion second part of the chapter now first we will see what is meant by proportion what is meant by proportion then equality of two ratios equality of two ratio if you equate the two ratios a is to b is equal to c is to d then it is called proportion we will write the proportion in terms of a is to b is as to c is to d a is to b is as to c is to d a is to b is as to c is to d so this is the definition of the proportion what are this a b c and d are known as a comma b comma c d are known as first second third and fourth terms a b c d are known as first second third fourth terms of the proportion you will have to remember it what is the d is called d is called as the fourth term or fourth proportional it is a fourth proportional to a comma b comma c it is fourth proportional to a b c remember now a and d are called as extremes a and d are called as extremes B and C are called as means. A and D are called as extremes. B and D are called as means. And all the property is there. The product of extremes. Product of extremes is equal to product of means. Product of means. Product of extremes is equal to product of means. So this is about the properties and uh, so terms used in the proportion now we will go to the second point continued proportion when you say that a b c d e f etc are in continued proportion if a by b should be equal to b by c b by c should be equal to c by d c by d should be equal to b by e d by e should be equal to e by f it is called as continued proportion without any break without any break we are not taking a by b is equal to c by d a by b is equal to b by c b by c is equal to c by d c by d is equal to d by e d by e is equal to e by f so such proportions we can say it as continued proportion continued proportion what is meant by mean proportion very very important terms we are yeah because we are uh, using these terms when we are doing the sums a, B, C are in continued proportion. That think that A, B, C are in continued proportion. A by B is equal to B by C. Then, cross multiply. B square is equal to A into C. Or B is equal to root of A, C. B is equal to root of A, C. That is mean proportion. Formula as well. We can call it as geometrical mean. It is also called as geometrical mean. So, you should know these terms. You should know these terms, but don't write in your notebooks. Okay. So, some more terms we will discuss now. What is third proportional? If A is to B is equal to B is to C, then C is called C is called the third proportional to A and B. If A is to B is equal to B is to C, then C is called third proportional. In the, uh, another sense, we can say it is nothing but a fourth proportional. C is called a fourth proportional to A B B. It is a fourth proportional to A comma B comma B. So very important property. If A by B is equal to C by D, C by D is equal to E by F is equal to k some factor k then each ratio is equal to a plus c plus e by b plus d plus f 
what is those a plus t plus c it is nothing but the sum of the antecedents by sum of consequence sum of consequence sum of antecedents by sum of consequence so remember this whenever it comes in the sum we have to apply it okay so these are the sum terms now we will move on to the exercise 7b okay Exercise 7b, find x when one first one 3 is to 4 is as to 2.4 is to x. Okay, so 3.3 is to 4 is equal to 2.4 is to x. Product of extremes is equal to product of means. Product of extremes is equal to Product of means. Product of means. Okay. So 3 into x is equal to 4 into 2.4. So therefore 3x is equal to 4 into 2.4. Our x is equal to 4 into 2.4 by 3. 3 ones, 3 zero, 3 eight. So 3.4. So, x is equal to 3.2. So, remaining two sums, we have to do it as homework. Take it as homework. Now, we will go on to the second one. Find the fourth proportional. Find the fourth proportional. <coughs> two. In the first one, 3, 8 and 21. 3, 8 and 21. So, we have to write in the proportional form. 3 is to 8 is as to 21 is to x. x is the fourth proportional. So, x is fourth proportional. 2, the remaining numbers. So now product of extremes is equal to product of means 3 into x is equal to 8 into 21. So therefore x is equal to 8 into 21 by 3, 3 ones, 3 7, 7 8 of 56. So fourth proportional is 56. So remaining two sums, we have to do it as over in the second and the third as over. So, not all these uh, sums in your own book. Find the third proportional to 9 and 6. So, third proportional means how will you write? 9 is to 6 is dash to 6 is to x. That is third proportional. So product of extremes is equal to product of means. 9 into x is equal to 6 into 6. x is equal to 36 by 9. So x is equal to 4. This is the first part. Second and third I am giving homework. Second and third. Homework I will give. I will go to the fourth. Root of 26 minus root. Sorry, sorry. This will not the sum. Uh, 2 plus root 3 and uh, 5 plus 4 root. 2 plus root 3 and 5 plus 4 root 3. So 2 plus root 3 is to 5 plus 4 root 3 is as to 5 plus 4 root 3 is to x. Product of extremes is equal to product of means. 2 plus root 3 into x is equal to 5 plus 4 root 3, 5 plus 4 root 3, 5 plus 4 root 3 is 5. 
करेक्ट टू प्लस रूट थ्री इंटू एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर मीन्स ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस बी स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर मीन्स फोर स्क्वायर इज सिक्सटीन रूट थ्री होल स्क्वायर मीन्स स्क्वायर एंड रूट टू बी कैंसल्ड ओनली थ्री सिक्सटीन फोर्टी एट फोर्टी एट टू इंटू फाइव इंटू फोर रूट थ्री टू ए बी टू प्लस रूट थ्री इंटू एक्स इज इक्वल टू एट प्लस फाइव इज थर्टीन सेवेंटी थ्री प्लस टू फाइव जो टेन टेन फोर जो फोर्टी फोर्टी रूट थ्री फोर्टी रूट थ्री नाउ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी थ्री प्लस फोर्टी रूट थ्री बाय टू प्लस रूट थ्री करेक्ट so here two minus root three by two minus root three that's the method I wrote it what happens here seventy three into two you have to multiply this seventy three into two two three is six two seven is fourteen one forty six seventy three root three plus forty two is eighty root three plus into minus Minus forty root three into root three three forty three is one twenty. Correct. By a plus b a minus b a square minus b square four minus three. Correct <coughs> here. Now what happens? One forty six minus one twenty six two. Okay, two twenty-six. Here eighty minus seventy-three. Eighty minus seven seven into three. That is one. That is equal to twenty-six minus seven into three. So this is the answer. This is the answer. Twenty-six minus seven into three. Uh, sorry, plus seven into three. Because the area is plus. So plus seven into three. Understood now? Similarly, you do. Fifth one. Similarly, you do the fifth one. So fifth one, I will give as homework. Fifth one also, I will give as homework. So note all these sums. So, fourth question is find the mean proportion between twenty eight and sixty three. We know the formula that a is equal to twenty eight, b is equal to sixty three. So, mean proportion is equal to root of a b. So, c is equal to c is equal to root of a b. So, b is equal to root of a c. Sorry, b is equal to Root of mean proportion b is equal to root of a c. This is a and c. They are given. A c. <coughs> a is twenty eight. C is sixty three. B is equal to root of a c. That is equal to root of twenty eight and sixty three. Sixty three and twenty One thousand seven hundred and sixty-four. So one thousand seven hundred and sixty-four square root is forty-two. This is forty. So a value, c value, the other one. We know the formula for mean proportion. B is equal to square root of a c. Substitute the values. We will get the mean proportion. Second one. 2.5 and 
so that a is equal to 2.5 c is equal to 0.9 b is equal to root of ac that is 2.5 into 0.0.9 0.9 so 25 into 0.9 2.25 so 2.25 means it is nothing but 15 1.5 so therefore the square uh, the mean proportion between 2.5 and 0.9 means 1.5 like that third one you do it has homework third one is homework for you fourth one i am doing here fourth one so they are given that a is equal to root 26 minus root 17 this is a value c value they are given root 26 plus root 17. Now they are asking us to find out. So B is equal to root of AC. That is root 26 minus root 17 into root 26 plus root 17. Okay. Here A minus B into A plus B. What is the identity? A square minus B square that is root of root 26 square minus root 17 square. So square 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 root cancels 26 minus 17. 26 minus 17 is 9. So that is equal to 3. So what is the answer? 3 is the answer. Similarly, you find out fifth sum also homework. Fifth sum also homework. This is how we can find out the mean proportion between any two numbers. Okay? So, note on these sums. So question number 5 says 6 is the mean proportion between two numbers x and y and 48 is the third proportion of x and y. Find the numbers. So first case 6 is the mean proportion between 6 is the mean proportion between two numbers x and y. We know the formula. Okay? So, what is the formula? B is equal to root AC or root AC. Here AC means XY is equal to 36. So, if you squaring both sides, squaring both sides, what happens? Squaring both sides. 36, not 6, no? 6, sorry. 6. Squaring both sides, what happens? XY is equal to 6 square. That is equal to 36. Equation number 1. Okay. Next, they are saying 48 is the 48 is the third proportional third proportional between X and Y. That means X is to Y is as to y is to 48. So now what we will do? Product of extremes, product of means. This implies y square is equal to 48 x. The y square is equal to 48 x. This implies uh, from here we can uh, find out what is x value. x is equal to 36 by y. Isn't it? x is equal to 36. That's what we supply y square is equal to 48 into x means what I will write 36 by y so cross multiplication so what happens here y square into y this implies y cube is equal to 48 into 36 
y is equal to cube root of 48 into 36 so 48 into 36 how much 48 in 28 24 14 8 12 7 1000 728. So I will write the answer here. What is the answer you will get? Y value 12. So 144 into 12. 12 for the 48, 52. See? So 12 cube is so y is equal to what? 12. So y value we got. So what is the x value? Substitute here x is equal to 36 by 12, 12 ones, 12 threes, this implies x is equal to 3. So I am substituting in the, the first equation that is x is equal to 36 by y, I will get x is equal to 3, y is equal to 12. So we have to use what they have given, mean proportion and third proportional concept and we have to solve for x and the y, x and the y. So note on this one, so. So, 11x plus 19x is 30x, okay, 30x, so therefore 42x minus 30x is 12x, 209 minus 185 is 24, therefore x is equal to 24 by 12 is equal to 2, so not only so, 7 at the same time, we do it as 1, okay.